Hi everyone, Ryan here. In this video, we will be talking about search ads. Make no mistake, search ads might seem so easy to create, but they are tricky and if you don't have the right approach, you can burn all your money quickly. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you already have your Google Ads account and you're ready to create your search campaign. Also, I recommend to have your Google Shopping campaign ready. So if you don't have your shopping campaign yet, I'll put some of my videos in the description. So watch those as well. One more thing I need to remind you is that if your product is not profitable in your shopping campaign, then definitely don't start a search campaign because 80% of your profit should come from your shopping ads. And if you're not seeing any success over there, then something is wrong and it's not a good idea to start your search campaign. All right, let's get started. There are different strategies that you can use to create your search ads. I'm pretty sure you've heard about SCAGs or single keyword ad groups. However, we're not going to use that in this video. In this video, we're going to do something which is called single intention ad group. After generating hundreds of thousand dollars on Google, I realized that SCAGs is not necessary. The best way to structure your ads is not separating them by each keyword because many of these keywords are addressing the same goal and you don't want to have these many ad groups that are overlapping. So the best idea would be separating your ad groups by their intention behind the search. So let me explain what does this mean. Pay close attention because it might seem so confusing at first. For example, we're gonna try to sell this handheld massage gun. This is a really old winning dropshipping product. I'm using this as an example because most of y'all are familiar with this product so it's better for your understanding. All right, first of all, we wanna see what kind of intentions are behind a purchase for this product. Then you wanna find every search term that people use to get to the product. Take a look at this picture I created. You have a few intentions and some keywords that are addressing them. And just to make things clear, as I said, we're gonna target different intentions. So you're never gonna use a keyword so generic like the keyword massage gun itself in your campaign. Let me show you how you can find these different intentions. There are multiple ways. First method is by using Google search bar. Just search something like this and Google recommends tons of new ideas like massage gun for shoulder pain. So one of the intentions is to fix shoulder pain. Also with the help of these Chrome extension keywords everywhere, you can find some related keywords. Then you wanna find any search term that address this intention. It can be massage gun for shoulder pain or handheld massager for shoulder pain or any different combination that address this problem. Problem. Other method of finding these search terms and possible intentions is by using your shopping campaign that you already have. You want to go to the keywords tab and go to the search terms and then you can see all these keywords you're showing up for. So here you can probably find a lot of new keywords that people are using that lead them to your product. If you found a new search term, you want to see what intention it's addressing. Put it aside and only use the profitable and long tail one. This is my favorite way to start a search campaign because the keywords are already proven. Other way of finding these different intentions and related search terms is by learning about your product and its potential benefits. If you're dropshipping, please learn about your product beforehand and never ever sell something that you're not familiar with. For example, of course, one of the main reasons to use this product is after your workout to fix muscle soreness or to increase muscle recovery. There might be multiple different keywords that address this problem, like massage gun for muscle recovery or massage gun for post-workout. Hopefully you've got the idea. I know it might sound confusing at first, but let's start creating a campaign to see how it's done in action. All right, so in your Google Ads, you wanna click on new campaign, new campaign, and you wanna go with create a campaign without a gold guidance. Here you wanna go with search, website visits, uh, your website URL uh, will be here. The name can be anything. S I G massage gun. Continue. I'm gonna load up one of my previous drafts. Don't worry about this. All right. So budget really depends on you. However, this is a bit different than shopping ads. If you were running a shopping campaign, I would tell you to start with 50 bucks or 100 bucks because shopping campaigns won't spend that much for the first few days. And if your campaign is not performing well, it won't spend your budget at all. But search ads are a bit brutal. They will spend this much. But to be fair, at the end of the day, you need to spend a fair amount of money to see if this campaign is actually profitable or not. So I like to go with 50 bucks anyway. And for the bidding, I want to go with manual CPC, same as every other campaign that we're starting. But for the scaling, we want to go with uh, Enhanced CPC Optimized for Conversion Value. This is a really good bidding strategy, especially if you're focusing on selling your bundles. So this is really helpful. But for the start, we want to go with Manual CPC because we don't want to overspend. 
all right so you don't want search network you don't want display network and for the location let's go with united states but be careful about this part you want to target people in or regularly in your targeted locations and you want to exclude people in your excluded locations and language english obviously don't worry about the audience don't worry about any of that click on next all right so here we're building our ad groups and each ad group gonna address a different intention all right for the first intention i chose portability or like the massage gun being handheld as you can see this word handheld 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 okay so we're targeting people who their main concern is portability and this product being handheld well obviously this is not the best intention if i actually was running ads for this product i probably wouldn't go with this intention this, it doesn't look that good to me but um anyway and i'll talk about the bit later first let's talk about these keywords all right so the first one we have handheld massage gun it has 2400 monthly searches which is really good for search ads anything more than 1000 and less than 10,000 is really good for search ads okay so this is a really good keyword the other one handheld percussion massager it has like 300 monthly volume okay you may think this is too low but first of all this is not accurate second of all this is good for search ads it's not terrible it's okay Okay, the other one is handheld massager. It has like 14,000 monthly searches. Okay, this is a bit higher and you may think, okay, this is perfect, but actually this is worse than the first one. This is not terrible. I would say don't go for anything more than 20,000 or 30,000. Okay, you want to target low volume, long tail keywords. This is somehow in the middle. Okay, so we're going to go with this, but remember that you, you got to be careful. The other one, best handheld massager. Again, this is perfect. And let me tell you why I told you to not go with the main keywords and generic keywords. So here, massage gun. It's addressing this. All right, so here we have massage gun. This keyword is the main keyword for this product and it's addressing like zero intention, okay? There is no intention, just massage gun, the product itself. It has 200,000 monthly searches. This is a lot and this is terrible. It will burn all your budget like in a sec. Okay, you may think, okay, a lot of people are looking for this. Yeah, actually a lot of people will be searching for this and a lot of people will be clicking on your ads, okay? And even if you get sales, you won't be profitable. I absolutely positively like 100% guarantee it. And let me talk about another thing. Okay, so here, for example, we have massage gun for muscle soreness. This looks perfect, okay? It is long. That's what she said. <laughs> it is specific, it is straightforward, but it shows zero monthly volume. As I said, this is not accurate all the time, okay? But actually, I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if this is profitable or not. It looks profitable, but I'm not sure. And that's why I told you, you need to run shopping ads before search ads. So if you're running shopping campaigns, you will find some keywords like this where keywords everywhere show zero from for the monthly volume but they are profitable so you definitely want to go with these keywords they look perfect all right so let's talk about the bid if the average volume of all your keywords is less than 10,000 then you want to go with a higher bid and by a higher bid i mean like one dollar would be fine for the start uh, but if the average is really high let's say like 20,000 you want to go with a lower bid just to make it uh, safer, like 50 cents or maybe 75 cents. I don't know. For this one, I'll, I like to go with maybe 80 cents. And this is in Canadian, I remember that. But it doesn't really matter. And the reason is every product is different. Every keyword is different. Every day is a different day. So you wouldn't know what the perfect bid is until you start running ads. So start running ads and see, okay, my campaign is not spending. Okay, so increase your bid. Or you may think, okay, this is a bit too aggressive. I want to like reduce my bid because my campaign is spending a lot and I don't want that. So just reduce it. Simple as that. Okay, so here for the keywords, you want to go with bra matches, phrase matches, and exact matches. If you don't know the difference between them, just click on learn more. Bra matches, basically, they're going to act like a big net and they're going to capture every single keyword related to your keyword. Let me show you the example here. Okay, so you have low carb diet plan like this is your keyword um, formatted as a broad match so ads may show on searches for carb free foods low carb diets 
low calorie recipes. You see, it, it captures every single thing. And it might be a bad thing because it might capture like irrelevant stuff, but you still wanna use it for the start only to find out new keywords. Phrase matches, uh, let's go to phrase matches. This is a bit different. Okay, let, let me zoom in. Okay, so for example, you have tennis shoes and ads may show on searches for shoes for tennis, buy tennis shoes on sale, red tennis shoes. You can see the tennis shoe is there alongside with other keywords. So basically different combinations or basically different way of uh, addressing that exact keyword. But what about exact matches? This is pretty obvious. You have shoes for men. You're only gonna show up for shoes men, men shoes, men shoe. It's gonna be exactly same thing more or less. And you won't show up for men's tennis shoes because there's no tennis in the keyword. You won't show up for shoes for boys because there is no boys here, it's only men, okay? But you still wanna use three of them. And uh, let me show you something. Let's say you have handheld massage gun. So instead of writing all of them on your own, you can just copy this, copy all of them, just write them down and copy all of them and go to this website. So it's called AdWords Wrapper. It is not anything fancy. Oh, I had it here before. So it's not anything fancy. You just paste it here, wrap keywords, and you can see it gives you like the broad, the phrase, and the exact match. Uh, on other YouTube videos about Google, you, uh, you may see some people are using modified broad, something with this plus sign. This is not a thing on Google anymore. So don't bother yourself using like modified broad matches. Okay, you don't need this. All you need is broad, phrase, and exact, and that's it. All right, let's talk about the ad itself um, okay so the final URL is gonna be your landing page don't worry about the Amazon uh, this is just something random and display path is gonna be the URL that people see okay and you want to stay as relevant as possible because the most important thing on Google is relevancy so why I chose handheld massage gun the reason is simple because you have handheld here and massage gun here. So you wanna go with the keywords that you already have here, okay? If you were targeting people who are looking for massage gun for muscle recovery, then you would say massage gun here and like muscle recovery here. But for the sake of this video, let's go with handheld massage gun. All right, so headlines, it will be the same. You need to keep the same energy and keep it as relevant as possible. So you have best handheld massager. We have hand, best handheld massager here. Uh, handheld percussion master this can increase your click-through rate a lot but and, and, and I mean a lot you can get literally 10% click-through rate which is amazing on Google Ads uh, because people are searching for you're targeting people who are searching for best handheld massager and then on your ad it literally says best handheld massager so definitely they're gonna click on your ad so this increase your click-through rate uh, and also you want to include like every single keyword you have up there and also you wanna add something else like uh, free shipping or 50% off or whatever that you're offering, it doesn't really matter. And description gotta be the same. Take a look at this. Are you looking for the best handheld massage gun? So this is one of your keyword. Shopper percussion massage, again, another one with more than 10,000 satisfied customers. As you can see, I'm again using the same keywords that I have here. Okay, so don't worry about the URL. Let's go to the extensions. Okay, so site link extensions, basically there's some links to other part of your website. Let me show you. So for example, this one, you have about us, success stories, contact us, whatever. Uh, these won't like do anything to the performance of your campaign. I don't think so, I'm not sure. But you can just click on new. This is gonna be the text, this, it's this one. And description will be here, this one. And the URL, it's gonna be the URL of that page. For example, I have contact us here, like 24 seven customer support, contact us at any time and call out extensions. Let me show you what that is. Uh, they're gonna appear after your description. So this is your description, learn more about whatever, generate more leads, build brand visibility, whatever. So you can just uh, write down 50% off, free shipping, great customer service, uh, secure payment, and click on new uh, call out extensions, you can just write it down there's no uh, description there is no url nothing just some random words and call extensions if you have a phone number or a virtual phone number anything you can just add it here and don't worry about image extensions that too much and don't worry about more extensions 
Uh, next, okay, you're done with your campaign. All right, but let me go back to the keywords tab, create another ad group that is addressing a different intention. All right, so here, for, for example, we're doing handheld and the keywords are addressing the same problem. So you wanna go with something else. And all you need is like two or three, or maybe four ad groups, and they should be totally different. And that's all, you don't need to overdo it. You don't need like 10 different ad groups or 20 different ad groups, just two, three, maybe four. And that's it. And so you can just review your campaign here. And if everything is correct, you can just publish your campaign. So I think we're done with search ads. That was everything you need to know before creating your search campaign. But there will be a lot of optimizations and adjustments going on in future after your ads are getting some traction. So you want to tune in for future videos that I can help you to optimize your campaigns. But before I log off, I want to remind you of a few things. To conclude everything, we are separating our ad groups by the intention behind the purchase or the search. And you want to use the keywords that are addressing the same problem. Another thing I want to remind you is that the best keywords you can use are the proven keywords that are coming from your shopping campaign. So if you don't have your shopping campaign or you're not seeing any success, just don't run search ads yet. And last thing would be relevancy. I said it multiple times, but I say it again, Google rewards a relevancy. So make sure your description, your headlines and everything else is related to the keywords you're targeting. Hopefully this video was helpful and valuable. If you want to see more, please tune in, consider subscribing, like this video, and comment what kind of videos you want to see, and I'll see you soon.